this is my furnace exhaust heat recovery system. It's uh, only one of a few in the United States that I'm aware of. I looked online for research on how to do this. Couldn't find anybody else besides one guy that's done this before. Um, so I have a high efficiency boiler here and it has a intake and exhaust PVC on the top. It's a 95% efficient boiler. Um, the exhaust comes through here and this is half inch copper coil wrapped around a solid three inch, um, well, a hollow three inch copper pipe. And I have water lines running through the copper coils and they extract heat from the wasted exhaust, um, from my boiler. So, um, pretty, you know, Pretty rare that somebody has something like this. I haven't seen any any other ones like it. Um, you know, typically it's two inch exhaust PVC just going out, um, and so I, I it, it was pretty easy to do these these. Um, I, I bought it off of eBay. These drain heat recoveries. So typically they're vertical, and they go in your waste stack of uh, your plumbing drain and waste. They go vertically here, and that would capture heat from showers and and whatnot that that you lose going down the drain. Um, so that's the principle that uh, that copper extracts heat from the water. Well, the most heat loss of of your appliances or in the house is from your furnace. So mine's a ninety five percent efficient furnace. Five percent of it is going out side and going out through the exhaust so there, there's quite a the, the exhaust is still pretty hot um and uh, um so you you really still you really cover a lot of heat out of this um these coils get get really hot almost too hot where i can't even touch it um and so it, it works really well i just i spliced in here with a, a upsizer to three inch and now when, so this has to slope back towards the boiler, right? When this is condens, condensation in, in the exhaust pipe. So it needs to flow back to the boiler. And when you're messing with um, exhaust gases in copper, it can create some, um, I'm not exactly certain. It's just caustic and it's uh, corrosive. So you don't want that going through your boiler heat exchanger, or your furnace heat exchanger. You want to try to capture that condensation before it goes back there. So I put a, a P-trap in here, which basically holds the water line of condensation right here. And it flows out and then connects to my other uh, condensate drain. So um, P-trap and then a, a no-hub connection here. And then a 3-inch drain heat recovery, recovery. Same thing on this side. And then it goes out. So I have a, a cold, the cold water line comes in here, um, spins through and gets preheated and then comes out and goes to my, the rest of my house. Um, I'll show you the connections. So this is my main water line to the house uh, and you install these T's. Um, I can't remember the name of them, but they have a, a little diverter in them and it diverts half of the water this way and half of the water that way. So half of the water goes through, of every gallon that goes through the house, will go through this line, through my preheater, and then come back here. And then half of it just, just goes through here. So, so you don't lose pressure. That's the reason why you want to do this instead of just putting, you know, it's only a half inch line. And if you ran every single gallon through that coil, I'd lose a lot of pressure. So this, this keeps the pressure really high. So it goes through the coil and then comes back here preheated and then it basically warms up every gallon of water that that comes into the house and it just it helps with the water heater it helps with you know just cold for for the laundry it's just better to have your incoming water a little warmer than coming out of the ground at 40 degrees or whatever um so it's pretty pretty easy to install and I just wanted to 
give a little video of this because I think it's pretty neat. It works really well. I've had it up for a couple of years and <clears throat> I mean, I can definitely feel it in the water that it, it raises it up a few degrees. And, um, you know, these are, I think I got it for 300 bucks. They're five to 600. They're spendy, but, um, you know, it's just kind of something fun to do. And I, I suppose there'd be a payback after 10 years or whatnot, but there's really no reason why this can't be on every furnace. Um, you know, it's not cost prohibitive to have an HVAC guy install this or to have, um, these come direct from the factory, but, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. So hopefully somebody enjoys this.